Hi, I wanted to come on today and do a quick video to walk you through what the experience is like to actually purchase a template from my template shop. Um, I figured that um, if it's something that's new to you, maybe you're not really exactly sure what happens after you purchase the template. What do you do next? How do you actually get started using it? Um, one of the main reasons why I created the template shop in the first place is because I wanted to take away some of the overwhelm and the confusion and the what do I do next that comes along with having to design, you know, graphics for your brand, um, marketing materials and resources and things like that. So. I want to make, you know, obviously the templates something that make your life easier, but I also want to make sure that the process to actually use those templates is as easy as possible. So I want to walk you through that today. Really simple. You'll be able to get up and running in no time. So I'm going to go ahead and share my screen and I'm going to walk you through what it looks like once you've made your purchase and you receive your email from the shop. So here we go. All right, so once you've finished making your purchase on the template shop website, you're going to see a message that lets you know that if you hang around for a few seconds, you'll receive the link to access your templates right then and there. But you'll also receive two emails from the shop for your order. The first one is going to let you know that your order has been confirmed. And the second one is going to be this one that says your downloads are ready. So when you go ahead and click that, it's going to give you access to um, an email that's similar to this. It's going to have, you know, your greeting. Thank you for your purchase. Here are your downloads. And then depending on how many templates you purchased, you'll see this kind of section for each one of those. Okay, the name of your template and then um, that download link. So we're going to go ahead and click on the link right here. We're going to open up our Canva checklist template. Let's go ahead and click that. And so what's gonna happen is we're gonna uh, be taken to this page in the template shop that lets us know, um, it shows us what we purchased and then we see the button here that says download now. So we're gonna just go ahead and click that button. And you're gonna have this PDF that's gonna download to your computer. Now I have this download tray. So whenever I download anything on my computer, it's gonna open for me right here. Depending on how your computer is set up, you may find that it opens right away in a new tab or you may go into your downloads folder to access that download. But we're gonna go ahead and click here and it's gonna open up again, in, or open this one up in another new tab. And we're gonna have this message. You're gonna love these because I really think you are. You're gonna see a preview of what you purchased. And then you're gonna see this message here. To use your new templates, you must have a Canva account. Now keep in mind, you do not need a paid Canva account to use uh, my templates. Canva is, um, has a completely free version. There's a pro version that's paid that definitely gives you some more features, but if you're just getting started or um, you really only need the basics, you probably aren't going to need a paid Canva account, but you definitely wanna get a free account set up if you don't have one yet so that you can start using your templates. Um, if you click on this button here, open your templates and you don't have an account yet, it's gonna take you to canva.com and it's gonna prompt you to create an account. But if you already have an account and you're signed into it um, and you click open your templates, you're your experience is going to be like this. It's going to go ahead and refresh the screen here and bring us to this Canva page that lets us know a template created by Laura McDowell was shared with you. Start designing now. So we can go ahead and just click right on use template and it's going to open up the template for you right here in your Canva account. So if you're familiar with Canva, you've used it before, this is going to look very familiar to you and you've now just got your template right here in your tray ready to edit. Um, what you'll notice is uh, every template that you receive from my shop is going to have a sort of a cover page that just gives you the title of the template. And then the next page is going to be any instructions. So Canva actually recently changed how they manage um, naming your templates. So I'm going to be updating this page, but um, it does let you know first that it's a template file. It is your own private copy. No one else can access it or see your edits. And I point this out because um, being able to share a template in this way where I'm able to send you a link and no one else has access to it, it is unique to you is a Canva Pro feature. So if you've ever purchased anything or gotten a freebie file from somebody who's not using Canva Pro or maybe has used um, created something in an older version of the paid Canva account, um, what you may see is uh, a warning to go ahead and make sure you save a copy before you start using it because it's 
this template is accessible to everyone they give it to that exact same file. So if you make changes or any other user makes changes, it's going to impact everyone's file. Whereas this is your very own unique private copy. Um, but I do walk you through how to change the file name and make a copy of it. And this is for um, really the purposes of maintaining the original that you purchased. You can use that as many times as you want. You can make as many copies of this as you need to, to create different files um, and products for your own business. So I recommend saving this as sort of your master copy so that you always have it to come back to. Um, before I show you how to do that, I'll give you one more little quick tip. So this, um, when we click again on that download now and we get that download, um, purchase download. What I've heard a kind of a quick tip a lot of my clients have said they do is whenever they purchase one from me, they go ahead and they actually will save these in a folder so that they have all of their uh, templates from the shop in one, um, have all these PDFs from the shop in one folder. They know they can always come back here and access that original file uh, template for themselves. So you could do that as well. But, um, and like I said, the instructions here have recently changed. So what we're gonna do is we're just gonna come up here and click file and we can click right into the title right up here and you can see it now becomes something that I can edit. So maybe I just wanna call this my master copy um, checklist template. And then when I click out of it and back in, you can see the name has changed. So now I've got the name saved the way I want it to be saved. And then the next thing I always recommend is making a copy of this one. Like I said, you save your master and just make a copy from it each time you wanna make a new version. So I'm gonna come in here and I'm just gonna click make a copy. And it's gonna open a new template, a new tab for me. And you'll see now it's an exact copy, except it's just called copy of copy. <laughs> um, it maintained the original file names, don't worry about that. But now we have our original here, we're gonna go ahead and close out our master copy so we don't accidentally edit it. And come back to our copy of copy. And same thing, we can come in to file and we can go ahead and change the name to whatever we want it to be. And then I'll show you, um, like I said, you write your cover page, you have your instructions page, and page three is going to be your brand board. I create one of these for every uh, template that I build because I think it's important for you to be able to easily have access to the colors that were used in the original, the fonts that were used in the original, and then any of the Canva elements that I used. Now the whole point is that you can edit this however you need to to match your brand. So likely you're gonna wind up changing the colors, you're gonna wind up changing the fonts. Um, you may change the elements or add elements as well, but um, what's really nice about this brand board is you can go ahead and edit it, and then whatever colors you put here for your brand, for example, are gonna be easy to access for you as you edit the rest of your template. I'm gonna show you how to do that in another video, um, but keep that in mind. And depending on the template, um, the brand board may extend to more than one page. In this particular instance with the checklist template, everything fits on this one page. Um, typically you'll find uh, maybe three, two to three fonts are used in each one, and then, um, depending, there might be a lot more elements than this. So I will definitely talk more about the brand board that you receive with every template in another video so you get a better understanding of how it can really add value. And then beyond the brand board is gonna be when we actually see the template itself. So we'll see this particular one has a title page, it has an overview content page, it has a, the actual, in this case, this is the checklist, and then there's a back page. And you can go ahead and add pages, you can move things around, edit these however you need to, delete things, whatever you wanna do. But I just wanted to really give you an overview of how quickly from purchase to starting to edit um, this process really is. So like I said, um, I really, really hope that you see that utilizing templates for your business can be a way to help you save time, 
eliminate any kind of stress or confusion or overwhelm that you might experience around design if that's not something that comes naturally to you. Um, and it can be really easy to just come in here and pop in whatever you need and get ready and go. And I'll definitely be doing, like I said, more videos that show you those next steps. Um, let me know what else you wanna see. Go ahead and like this video, follow it, leave a comment. Let me know what else I can be doing for you and stay tuned for the next one. So until next time, I'll see you soon.